Hören Sie mich zu Hallo, ich bin der Hauptmann. 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 Ich bin I can hear the fossils of the ancient Aramanga Sea. I press my stone ears to the escarpment, listen to the sound of stratification, a large bird folding its wings. I can hear the ants forming home. I can hear the grass seeds clasped in their mandibles. I hear all these things and much more without seeing them. Lizards and wild dogs howling, hurling themselves into the red water. One by one. What sound does a loping, flying, flesh-tearing body make as it transforms into a spine of wonder, broken amongst ear stones and erratics? We reach towards it, strain to listen through the hot gales of the Aramanga Sea. Opalized three-corner jacks pierce what's left of my feet, red raw ribbons dangling from the ends of my legs. Death lies lightly on the skin. Life teems in the microscopic folds. The mites that feed on me are me, and I am no more than them. How does an army of mites bring down a system? We are all mites under the skin. No more, no less. Same, same. The insignificance is astonishing. I can taste the sour yellow flowers. The red river flows over my tongue. I remember you. I know you only by your taste, as gritty as the violet wildflowers, tethered to the ochre cliffs, as tangy as ruby saltbush berries. But where did they come from, these wild, strange children? They resemble nothing I've ever seen before. As wild as the desert dogs, barks as bad as their bites. I pull my red raw ribbons in. These children seem rabid. We, We are, are part clouds. Already hiding off. I am lightening the heft of haunch and head, needing to say less. Needing, needing to be more, all and none. none. And when mouths do open, the flight of butterflies, the march of ants, or the stream of time disgorges. This is important, to become none. My, My disaster, disaster is the, is warm, the warm cradle, cradle what for what after. comes after. A supple curve pressing a defense against the fanged night. There is no reality that does not produce appearances, no praxis that does not generate illusions. Coming as the shark of the bush, with its conveyor belt of teeth, that fractal infinity machine, so far from the ocean. Something woke you, first one, then a pack. You stop, you stop breathing, breathing and listen and to the bush. To the bush. Dingo. Dingo. Bush. I, I shoot, shoot another arrow, then another, and another. And another. Your, Your sister sleeps. sleeps. Luminous, Luminous creature, creature alive, alive and skittering, skittering across, across sweet water. water. The, the dark, dark night, night, the fear of waves, the terrifying, the terrifying whirlpool. And, and now, now, the deep, the deep blue sky soaks into the back of my eyes. How can they know of our state, those who go lightly along the shore? All things arrive from a void and are swept into the infinite. Wherever I go, I take them with me. They are golden and iridescent blue and are opportunistic. I am ignorant, but they teach me and we feed one another. I walk through the world with my mouth wide open, harvesting the morsels the others shed. A mouth swallowing the storm. We are enfolding like rows of teeth with tails. The, the tails, tails lash onto one, one another. They, they strengthen, strengthen, soften, become string for knotting or weaving a net. A, a net, net not, not made, made to catch, catch ordinary ordinary shapes, shapes, but to, to suit the air for the imperceptible, imperceptible to, to comb, comb the waves for deep, deep rumbles, rumbles or high whistles, whistles to, wrap to wrap around thoughts, thoughts and keep them together, together patterning the skin of ideas. ideas. Bodies are compressed, fossil becoming. Beasts walk upon them with light feet or none. 
The powder of bone slips into the thick air and scatters its bones, finds its way into the smallest of fissures, trickles down rock faces, filters the light to turn the sun vermilion. We recline on the warm blue beach of micronized plastics in the atomic breeze, wearing literal shoes and, and a second, second midnight skin. A bird, lizard in its beak, dives into the mound springs. A woman who was once a tree, a, a tree, tree once a, a child. child. Goats fouling the water holes. Copper, gold, uranium. The, the poison. poison. Leave, Leave it. it. The earth can cradle plastic as easily as it cradles forests. New mountains grow out of fecal waste and derelict houses. Humans will disappear long before the last insect dies, and the insects, tireless, will carry away human remains for their own purposes. The magic building site holds its queen in the foundations, fed by the mouths of machines, fattened by mites and concrete dust. The intricate procedures carry on above her, the darts of the cranes, the upward climb of scaffolding. Songs for skinwalking the drone, an elegy in stone, the brush of an angel's wing, their persimmon lips, their violet eyes, their besotted murmuring. At, At farmer's twilight, twilight you, you hear, hear them before you hear them. A psychosonic encounter is a nominal. Wolf, wolf or, bear, or bear or dingo or shark, or shark ready to read holes on either side, side of the your spine. spine. The spectres the themselves are rarely, are rarely seen. seen. They, they melt into, into the bush. bush. Acacia kambaji, stinking water, itchy scrub. You, you never see them become, become rich. Both, Both of the, the dead hold a fondness for cellular, cellular information in your and your 12-year-old back Corpses in the machine graveyard drip your blood through the house that shouldn't be there. Reached with rosy hue, they hang there in space, seven ranks tied to that big vine. You shiver as they go. As night falls, the lake becomes a heavy, colorless, transparent glistening, trying to reach a tree that is always disappearing into the bush. The storm bird calls. This, this is the creation I know, this, this is the land speaking. speaking. A series of worlds mirrored, vast, dark holes in memory. A gullet of mud, dying, not dying. The river that was once underground rises up. The curve reveals itself, lines stripped bare. Keeping our eyes on the horizon, we dive in and under. Yesterday we walked here. We found disgorged eagle pellets containing fur, a small rat's eye peeping out from the half-digested mess. We ate wildfire eggs in the riverbed and dropped the peeled shells on the sand. Black leaves rain down on the marshlands. An ominous borealis dances underneath a turbulent sky that hums, shivering hearts. Small bronze mirror crabs clamber onto the waders' feet, clacking. They steal skin flakes to eat later. Everybody holds hands, their mouths hang open. They listen in silence to a mirage interrupted only by yellow-ringed finches falling from the cumulus of accumulated ash. Oh, right, right luck! Is it any more than a line cast out, out to the future, future along which to pull oneself? Always already, already dead. dead. Annihilation, a condition, condition of life. life.